Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a requested video. I'm going to be doing a contour and highlight video as you can see from the title. Normally I use powders to contour and just use my concealers to highlight so I kind of do a mix of both but today I will be using just cream products and then adding some powders on top. So this is a technique that I use when I'm going out, when I'm going to go clubbing or to the casino or whatever I'm going. It's usually for like my nighttime stuff so <laughs> That's my nighttime stuff. So if you want to see how I contour and highlight, just keep on watching. Starting off with a bare face, as you can see from the intro, I looked a little scary. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a thin layer of foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. I use these type of foundations, the liquidy kind. Um, when I do cream contour because I'm adding product on top of product. There's a thin line between just layering appropriately and cake face. So I try to be, you know, minimal with my foundation. My face is clean, so I don't care. I only used it on myself anyway. Look how pretty I look. So the concept of highlighting is to brighten up the areas that the sun would naturally hit your face and kind of like give you that inner glow but with makeup. So it would be the t-zone area under the eyes, the cupid's bow, the chin, and the top of the cheekbones. And the areas that are contoured would be the outer part of the face under the neck where you can see the natural shadows of my face that's where you'd want to contour now some people do some deep deep contouring to kind of pretty much just transform their face I'm just going to do my regular face because I still want to look like me I kind of like me sometimes I'm going to highlight first and I'm going to be using the LA girl pro concealer and this one is in natural and this is the lightest one that I picked up so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand and then use the brush and just apply. As you can see, I'm not doing the traditional triangle. I am doing a triangle shape, but I am just not drawing it out, that's all. I kind of tend to bring it around the nose. Cupid's bow. My chin, or the chin area. And then I'm just going to bring out a little bit of brightness to the center of the face and I'm gonna go ahead and put some in the center of my nose. I look gorgeous. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. I'm gonna use the pointed end and I'm going to also take the e.l.f. makeup mist and set. This is like three bucks at the drugstore and I'm just gonna take it and I've already wet the tip of the sponge with it and what this does it helps blend this out beautifully. Especially cream products. You don't want it to look too cakey you want it to blend beautifully so that's why I spray the sponge. Now as you can see I used a shade that isn't so stark against my skin. I literally used maybe one or two shades lighter than my natural skin co color to highlight. So you don't want to go as far as getting something that is extremely extremely light on your skin. You don't I don't think most of us are dragging it out on a daily basis. So I'm going to go ahead and now that I've highlighted, I'm sure you can see where it's a little bit brighter on my face, which will be the center of my face pretty much. I bought two darker shades of the LA Girl Pro Concealers and I bought one that's the shade Toast, which is pretty dark, and I got one in the shade Almond. So what I do is I actually mix these two together. You don't have to use the LA Girl Concealers. If you'd like, you can use uh, cream foundations that are a little bit darker than your skin tone. Go for something that's a little bit more cool toned um, to contour. Nothing that's so warm unless your complexion is naturally extremely warm. And you can also use darker powders as well, which I normally use on my videos. So you guys have seen that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and contour. What you do is when you contour, you want it to hit right below the cheekbone where your cheekbone would hit. So some people do the fishy face. I pretty much already know but just for haha's we'll do the fishy face so this is the area where you want to be so you'd want to make a line right there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take whatever's left on the brush and I'm going to go ahead and hit the sides of my nose now to figure out the shape of the contour of your nose you pretty much have to go with what you want to bring in. As you can see, it kind of already gives it a shape. Looks like a penis. So I'm just gonna take some 
on the sides here. I usually do this with powder and I take it right under my lip. Like that. And as you can see what it does is already gives me like a line there so it makes my lips look powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Real Techniques um, buffing brush. I think this is the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm going to hit the nose first because that's usually what I try to contour first. And I'm just going to blend this. Blending is key. <laughs> it is the key to life. I sprayed the sponge with my mist and set again. And then I'm just going to blend this. Now as you can see I'm bringing it, I'm just leaving it in that central area but as you can see it kind of blends very nicely. If you ever feel like maybe you added a little bit too much um, or you want to blend it out more go ahead and take your sponge that you used with foundation or your brush and you can easily just buff that like I am right now and what it does is just blends it out a little bit better. There is no right way or wrong way of doing it, honey. This is just a crazy way of looking. Now, this brush had no additional product to it, but as you can see, it really softened up that harshness that I was starting to get. Even though I was using the sponge to blend, which there's nothing wrong with it, you can also go back with the sponge just to help blend that out. As you can see, I look very, uh, mm. <laughs> Now pretty much with any cream foundation or any cream products, you want to set those with powder. So I always recommend setting it with powder. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and use a mix of vanilla and banana to set my under eye concealer. You can use, I swear to God, if I only had to live off of one brush, I'd probably use the e.l.f. blush brush because it is perfectly tapered for under the eye. It is perfectly pointed for contouring, for highlighting, and for blush. Like, I think this is a great multitask brush. So don't feel like you have to get a whole bunch of brushes. Just clean your brush in between uses and between powders. If you only have one brush, this would be the brush I recommend. And it's $3, the e.l.f. blush brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap it in the center of my face. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Fawn shade on my Anastasia Contour Palette because as you can see the difference, this is a lot more cool tone and this is extremely warm. Like I can just, that's too warm for me and I want to cool everything down. So I'm going to go ahead and use Fawn, which is a color I particularly use in a lot of my videos. Lightly, a little goes a long way. You just want to set it. You don't need a ton of powder to set this. You just want to use a shade that's close to the color that you already placed there. So I'm going to go ahead and add some blush and finish off the rest of my face. So this is it, guys. This is how I pretty much contour using cream and powdered product. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. It was requested, and it has been requested for a while now. I just didn't know how to go about making it, even though it's something that I normally do anyway. I was just nervous. You can't blame me. So if you have any suggestions or any requests, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.